All right, day 48. 48 consecutive days of walking at least one mile. I'll put the camera on and we'll get going. Ranger's hungry this morning, so I gotta give him his food before we go. You hungry, buddy? You want some food? Yeah? You want some food? You hungry? You are? All right, come on, Duel. Let's get some food. All right, here you go, Duel. Big helping this morning. All right, do it. Been uh, raining this morning. But it's pretty clear right now. I mean, it's not raining. I think it's blowing through. Let's start the timer and get going. Not really cold, but it's windy. Not gonna be great for the camera sound. All right. Put in your guess how long it'll take, how far I'll go. Do at least 1.15 this morning. Windy. It's not cold though. That's 63. Wind chill of 59. It, uh, it was raining this morning. It's supposed to rain uh, throughout today and tomorrow, they said, but kind of got a feeling it's going to blow through, at least in this area. They said. Uh, In the mountains of California today, they're supposed to get uh, blizzard-like conditions, low visibility, and they're supposed to get 10 feet of snow. 10 feet. I guess there'll be a lot of good skiing up there. 10 feet. Might even shut down the ski resorts with that much snow. I can't imagine. It was uh, it's raining this morning. Not that hard, but. A little bit and now it's all pretty dry I don't know if it's gonna rain anymore today they said today and tonight tomorrow but I kind of got a feeling it's blowing through yesterday I went down to uh, went down to uh, Manhattan Beach made two videos you want to check those out it's pretty nice down there yesterday it was cloudy but it wasn't cold it, weren't a, it wasn't like overly crowded so that was kind of nice went down and saw the uh, Beverly Hills 90210 house. It's right there on the uh, on the strand at the end of Hermosa Beach, right before you get to Manhattan Beach. Hasn't really changed a lot. I think the show was on in the 90s. And uh, it's right there on the corner right before you get to Manhattan Beach. The only thing that's changed, it used to be sort of a white beige with blue trim and awnings and now it's more of a gray lighter gray with blue and trim awnings so still very recognizable if you want to see that uh video it's in part one and part two i think you can rent it out I, 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 it wasn't for rent right now so someone might have it for rent but uh Write down in the comments if you ever watched that show. It's sure popular in the 90s. These two yellow roses coming up here. It's out of nowhere. There's gonna be a lot of beautiful flowers this year because of uh, all the rain we've got. 
like I said, it kind of rained this morning. It's supposed to get a little bit more today or tomorrow. But usually it doesn't rain that much in March. And then in April, May, that's it. They're from Florida, Okaloosa. So they moved here. It's usually people moving from California to Florida, but they moved from Florida to California. They said that, uh, I don't know, like 800,000 people or something moved from California to Florida or something. Uh, get a U-Haul to Florida was expensive, but to drive a U-Haul from Florida to California was like, I don't know, if it was like a thousand one way, it was like a hundred back to California because they needed the U-Hauls here. And people moving out. If that's moving up, then I'm moving out. Look, car from New Jersey. Florida and New Jersey. All the way across the country. And let's see what we see today. Always something interesting. Yesterday, all those, there's another car from Florida, Sunshine State. All those beautiful uh, houses yesterday. This one for rent was a two bedroom, 10,000 a month, right on the strand. Beautiful ocean views. You had to do a year lease, so it's 10,000 a month. Well, write down in the comments uh, if you're playing along, how many days in a row this is for you. If you're doing a, well, look at those pretty days it's with the purple inside. It's pretty. A lot of them all popping up here the last couple weeks. You done uh, 10 days in a row or 15 days in a row or I guess you wouldn't have done 15 yet. I've only put up I think. Yeah, if you do this will be this is day day 48 for me so if you put up if you've done 15 days in a row or 20 in a row write it down in the comments let me know how many miles you've gone so far not sure how many miles I'm over 60 I think I have to add it up again Maybe you do just doing a half a mile a day or a half a mile every other day. He is just getting going. If you just do a do a mile, it's usually 10 minutes out, 10 minutes back. Seems easy. Just the key is just to get going. going on down here half white half gray house that gray is the color of the year everybody wants a gray house and a gray car there's another Mustang it says 95 GT I think I see a lot of Mustangs maybe just because I'm looking for them and they're recognizable. Here's a dark gray car. Everybody loves this gray. I didn't set the 
over under on dogs today is no i don't know there'd be a lot of dogs out today because they said it's just been raining so that was two so we'll say four and a half we'll see if we see two or three more i set it at four and a half all right almost did a half a mile already do one more block and turn around walk be over before you know it wow there's a license plate alberta canada the first one i've seen from canada lights on oh it's windy it's super loud for the camera i know i just got you know, just backing up i guess into the... been out on a call comes the paramedics coming back too Fake grass there. Never have to mow it. Get out the vacuum cleaner. Here comes the sun. It's all right. Charger over there. I'm not going over there today though. Making a turn. See what's going on down here. No, no kids playing baseball. Maybe they got rained out. Comes a I said last week I saw the kids playing, uh, I think it was Saturday or Sunday. Here comes a cockapoo. Look like a labradoodle. Oh, there you go. It's not gonna see him. Heading back in. The lemon tree. Uh, I guess we'll turn up this street. See what we see. The mailman, I think that's Ron. I don't know. He said this was his uh, route. Maybe we'll see him. So I'm here uh, the week, was it a week ago, two weeks ago? Yeah, probably two. The greenhouse with a red door. Christmas colors. Another lemon tree. I love those lemons on that tree. Wow. They look healthy too, look at them. All look really nice. Nice lemons this year. Yep, that's Ron. Ron the mailman. up a good pace. Hey Ron, hey. how's it going today? Good, Doug. how are you doing? Good, good. What is that, a light or is it a, a camera? Oh, it's a camera? Yeah, I've been recording my walks, seeing what's going on. I see a lot of interesting stuff. 
<laughs> see a lot of vintage cars. Yeah. Well, you know, they meet over at the uh, over at Hawthorne and uh, Artesia. They have like a show. Not a show. Hawthorne and Artesia. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right in there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you know what's really interesting, though? I don't know if you've ever been down this little street. If you go down 190th, it's Ma I think it's called Marianne. Yeah. Oh, that guy. The Ferraris and Lamborghinis. Steve Tillak. Oh, you know him? I used to, yeah, I used to deliver to him years ago. Yeah. And you go down there. Oh, my gosh. You get the, you'll hear them driving through the streets. Yeah. The sometimes. It's unbelievable. He's expanded. It used to just be the place all the way down on the right. Yeah. But now he has buildings on the left and down. Yep. And, oh, that guy is an empire. It's phenomenal. He says he has sh cars shipped from all over the world. Yeah. Not just the nation, but all over the world. This guy, who knows who, who I'm sure he makes custom, you know, uh, sports cars for different people. Yeah, he said Jay Leno's been there. Oh, I Some of his that. cars that he worked on, but there was one car I looked at the other day. I wasn't familiar with it, but it was an older Ferrari. Um, I can't remember the number now, yeah. but I, it was like, you know, it wasn't like super, it, was, it wasn't like present day, it was like, I think, early 60s, mid 60s. Yeah, yeah. But I looked it up when I got home, it was like $600,000. Wow. <laughs> I was like, wow. I, you know he has a lot of insurance, but it's oh, sort of man. kind of a place that, uh, off the beaten track. It you is, know, down that alley, yeah. Down that alley. I can't imagine, because, you know, in the garage, he's got like, probably 50 or 60 more. Yeah. I mean, he must he's have. busy. He was busy when I was delivering. Back yeah. He's got to have 24 hour surveillance and surveillance oh, on this. Because yes. those cars are worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah. Went by there the other day, he had six Ferraris parked out there, two Maseratis, and an orange Lamborghini. All parked out, you know, where he parks them. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm sure he has some kind of security setup over there. Oh, he's got to. He's got to have 24 hours. He's got millions of dollars worth of cars in there. I tell you, so go by there every couple weeks and record the cars and look at them and stuff. And yeah, yeah. that garage on Artesia, where they work on them, uh, he, they've got some old cars there too. It's uh, like like Pac near Pacific Tire. It's like the one garage up from there. Okay. He had like a '54 Cadillac there yesterday. Yeah, and then an old Riviera from '65 Buick Riviera. Yeah, it's some pretty neat cars too. Those, uh, yeah, I like looking at those. I like. My favorite car is the uh, 65 slash 66 Thunderbird. Oh, that's a good looking car. That's a good looking car. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it, 64, it's a different, they changed the way it looked. Uh -huh. You get the 65, it's a whole different look. Yeah, those Thunderbirds. Those early Thunderbirds are beautiful. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you go earlier than that, and they were much smaller. They were smaller, yeah. That's the one they redid. Remember yes. They, they it yeah, like about 20 years ago. Like that. They were pretty good looking, the new ones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They were expensive, though. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Ron, have a good day. Hey, Ron, the mailman is always a nice guy. Another Mustang. Had a Mustang pass me by while I was talking to Ron. Always a Mustang. See, a lot of Mustangs. Like I said, I don't know if it's why I'm just looking for them or what. That's a later model there. It's a good looking car. And I don't know what year. Let me know. Yeah, Ron used to do uh, my mail route for many years. I always enjoyed talking sports and stuff with him. He's a good guy. But he was familiar with that uh, garage, Fast Cars. I think that's the name of it. Where they work on all those exotic cars. There's a Camaro. Later year Camaro. I like the Camaros. I had a 81 Camaro. Gold Camaro. It lasted eight years and 64,000 miles. And the engine died. Early 80s were not great. Engines, American engines during that time. But I enjoyed that car. Good looking car. Some more 
fake grass. I like that fake grass. I think it's like anywhere five, six, seven thousand, six thousand dollars to get it put in, but I would like to put it in. Never have to mow it and it always looks good. Warming up. Here's a color green Toyota. What color color green would you call that? Pea green? Not too familiar with SUVs and RVs and Toyota. later model forerunner I don't know what color you call that pea green tomorrow's probably gonna be really nice said like you said it might they said it might rain tonight tomorrow but I feel like it's blowing through so tomorrow's gonna be really nice yes I got to Kinds of little flowers blooming over here. Purple, pink, red, bougainvillea, all kinds of stuff. Late, late model, later model VW Bug. It must have been fairly close to when they started reintroducing them because they have a tail lights that were more rounded. It seemed like the the more they, the later they introduced them, they got more square in the back. I think I'm not exactly sure. I noticed those two a lot too, maybe because. They have a distinctive look. The El Camino and the bright blue Mustang. Another Mustang. The Mustang's all over the place. It's a popular car, I guess. Bright blue. People love those glow in the dark colors. I don't know what model it is. And here's a Mustang SUV. Oh, Mustang must be doing pretty well. What does that say? Mach E? No, it's electric. I think they have a neighbor that has an electric Mustang SUV. Gray, of course. That dark, darker gray. Beware of dog. I wonder what they got, what kind of dog they got. He is not out. Well, what do we see? Two, two or three dogs, three or four, three dogs, four dogs, three or four. Not that many today. No delivery trucks. Not that prevalent on a Saturday. Here's another matte gray color car. Oh, 
if you first time you watch the channel you want to get started walking it's write down your goal in the comments section if you want to get started with a half a mile a day or a mile every other day or say people with written goals are 10 times more effective people to just think about them so subscribe to the channel write down your goal come back and write down your progress every day uploading a new video every single day I'll put another one up tomorrow I put two put one up yesterday it's down at Manhattan Beach if you want to check that out there's always something on these walks Sometimes I walk, like I said, walk by the exotic cars I was talking to Deron about. Sometimes I've been down to Hermosa now, Manhattan. It's this gray kitty, he never wants to come over. Meow! 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 Kitty, kitty! Say if they blink, they're friendly. They, I mean, they relax. But if they don't blink, then there he goes. Meow. He blinked a couple times. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Meow. Never seen him a few times. He never lets me pet him though. Meow. There he goes. Meow. Looks like he needs some food. Skinny. He won't. He won't let me pet him. He's, sometimes he's seen him in this field a few times, but he never wants to come over. I think he lives with about eight or ten other cats. There's a. There's up there at the corner. A pretty dog. The neighbor's dog. I can't think. I think they have two of those dogs. I can't think of what the name of it is. They have an older one. I think they got a, a newer one. Same breed. I don't know what kind of breed it is. It's pretty. The other one used to always bark at Ranger. But I haven't, I haven't petted that one yet. They walk about every day. All right, another gray, new gray car. Almost back home. It might rain again later, I don't know. The sky's awfully overcast. We'll see. There's another Mustang, his neighbor. All right. Let's see where we're at. We're going to be at a little bit over, yeah, over 1.2, do 1.21. Yeah, go up and back, and that'll be it for today. Another successful day in the books. All right, if your guess is 1.21 in 27 minutes and 59 seconds, you are the winner today. And that's it, another successful day in the books. So if you like the channel, check out some of the other videos. Subscribe, like it, see what Ranger's doing. What are you doing, buddy? You just sitting here waiting? Do you eat all your food? No? Looks like you still got some left. Was it good? Yeah? Did you enjoy it? What? <laughs> you don't like being ignored, huh? You're gonna be petted. You missing the sunshine today? 
Make sure I don't sit on your tail. Yesterday you got your tail under the chair and I sat on it. Or day before yesterday. Two days ago. You screamed like Woodstock. Alright, that's it. If you want to see the Manhattan Beach uh, videos from yesterday, check those out. We'll put a link to a uh, video you might like. You can click on that, watch another one. And that's it. Hopefully it'll be sunny tomorrow. You want to say goodbye, Ranger? You got anything to say? Meow. Meow. All right, buddy. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye.